homemade Milo Tare just for JJ. Not so hot already, you try? Good. How many stars is that? Ten stars. So it is. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. A warm welcome to everyone. When you're watching Greg's Be Eats, we're at Topayo West Market and Food Center. And we're here to talk about Tian Tian Lai Fried Hokkien Mee, Kam Daily Fried Hokkien Mee which is super, super, super famous. I mean, I almost no need to introduce the store, like, okay? Because most of you will know the store, for sure. They sell one of the best fried Hokkien Mee in Singapore, and they are one of the pioneering hawkers in the Topayo area. Tian Lai Fried Hokkien Mee is practically an institution in Singapore, like, having been in the business since 1968. The family's grandfather was a street hawker in the field below, next to Topayo West Market and Food Centre, before moving to this hawker centre when it was built. The stall is currently being manned by James Ng, who manages frying duties, while his wife, Jessie Teo, manages the front end handling orders and money. Their son, Jason Huang, used to man the walk with his father, but now concentrates on managing delivery orders. But I think I see him there today. I could be wrong. So, come, let's have things. Hello, how are you? Hello, Okay, I placed my order. Um, it's basically 5, 8 and 10, I think. 12? Yeah, something like that. And they gave me a buzzer, so we just have to wait. But it won't be such a painful wait because I ordered some uh, Chiswa carrot cake. And so, mm -hmm, I'll be eating this while we wait. Here it is, it's so fast. Okay, so this is the five dollar option. You have got um man I keep on forgetting the damn prices. Five, eight and ten or twelve. I'll put it here. Okay anyway, uh yeah. Okay, so let's not waste time. Let's eat, okay? Obviously I know what this is like, so I'm gonna put some lime. Okay. okay, so in the $5 portion, you get, let's see, how many prawns do you get? One, two, three, three, three prawns. And you get some squid bits, lah, but let's try the actual noodles itself. Lah. Oh, man, that's pretty amazing. Wow. As usual, it's awesome. So they turn out a fried Hokkien Mee that has a stock flavour that is incredibly robust. It's a secret mix of different stocks, prawn and pork usually, but apparently they actually put other stocks as well. And of course there's a lot of generous pork lard inside. Uh, here's the acid test though, it's the pork lard crunchy. It's crunchy. Mm. I'm pretty impressed. This last time it didn't always come crunchy. La. Sometimes it came a bit soft, depending on the day. But today it's crunchy, so it's good. So the fried Hokkien Mee here is of the wet variety. So it comes with more than the usual amount of gravy, fried to a wet gooey consistency. But of course, if you're going to spend time Instagramming or filming B-roll footage, right, the gooey sauce is going to get more and more reduced. La. The stock is concentrated and robust. So every bite has a dominant stock flavour to it. Mm. Okay, the dish uses a mix of chow bee hoon, thick bee hoon, and yellow noodles, which has got very little alkaline smell to it. Yeah, the noodle texture is very nice and bitey. This one I actually forgot about this place, la, about how nice and bitey the noodles are. The small downside is that there's not much wok here to the noodles. Okay, that's a very slight charring. I find some here and there. But it's not like massive or anything. So um, it's a small niggle basically. Right, that's where the sambal chili comes in. I'm gonna put in some sambal chili and mix a bit to sort of like simulate what it's like. Lah. 
There we go. Mm. Okay, the sambal chili is basically um, oil rich with quite strong savouriness. It's basically dried prawn base. Lah. No, and it's got a very slight amount of tanginess also. Very slight. And it's quite spicy. Um, it ups the flavour quite a bit. And it's actually got a fair amount of smoky notes inside. Smoky, earthy flavours. So it ups the flavour quite a bit. But it's almost not necessary if you're one who prefers that the naked flavour of the stock actually shines in. Okay, the dish comes with um, prawns and squid pieces, which are on the small side. Lah. I think I chose the small one, there's a larger one there, but anyway, yeah. Okay, decently blanched. It's still a bit of prawn flavour, very nice. And then there is some squid. Mm, okay. Normally it comes off, but today it could be blanched just a little bit less. It's got low egg bits. It's actually quite soft. I'll just try it a bit. Hmm, soft eggy bits, very nice. Hmm, and then um, do I see any pork? Last time they used to cook pork belly pieces, but now I think they've phased that out now. Let's see, yeah. Don't have no pork belly pieces, but that's fairly understandable, lah. It's this constant battle about whether they actually put pork belly pieces back inside, and they actually up the price by fifty cents, let's say, per plate or they keep the price there and they actually reduce the amount of ingredients lah. so they've chosen to omit the pork completely lah, you know but it's still very very nice lah, for what it is now this piece of squid is actually okay so the overall flavour is very stockish it's got a lot of stock sweetness slight garlic notes and it's got that pork lard aroma and taste it's got a sheen there, wonderful so because the stock is really on the heavy savoury side right I mean, it's not over salted, but it is definitely not under salted. Now, okay, there's quite a fair amount of savouriness inside here. Because of that, the chili doesn't actually make sense because it just tilts it towards being too salty. So, if you want to add the chili in for even more flavour, you can, but add it very, very carefully. Mmm, okay, done. That was absolutely amazing. So, that was a short look at Tian Tian Lai Kam Daily Fried Hokkien Mee which is arguably one of the top 5 Hokkien Mee stalls in Singapore lah. But would I travel half across Singapore to eat here? Uh, definitely yes, I would say so. The list of top Hokkien Mee stalls in Singapore is actually rather small. This stall is clearly in it lah. But don't get me wrong, this Hokkien Mee has its flaws lah. Although it is rather minor. For me, a little bit more wok here would be really really nice. But aside from that, that's really like the only complaint that I have really about this stall. The fact that you can get a fried Hokkien Mee as robust and flavourful as this with a decent amount of prawn and squid and at this price, it's actually fairly good. Lah. It's a very good fact. That said, if there was a fried Hokkien Mee with a really thick stock and with wok hay and amazing prawn sweetness and full-size squid rings and all that, right? I would easily pay for that. But I'm guessing that that would easily cost about three times the price at the minimum. So thanks for watching another episode of Great Speed Eats by Eat Through the Whole of Singapore. If you liked this episode, give a like, subscribe, comment below, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one for more eating. Actually not next episode, like, now you can see me eating like, because I still have my plate of Che Soa carrot cake here, which I still haven't finished yet. So um yes, bye bye! Still here. Video is over already, you know. Got nothing better to do, ah. Huh? I almost reached my plate, no.
Okay, ready finish. Bye bye. Okay.